hit by a series of earthquakes in a limited area since June 21st. There have been 1,180 earthquakes with an intensity of one or higher. A growing sense of unease has been steadily building among geologists and residents alike, as subtle but persistent signs point toward the possibility of a major geological upheaval in and around Japan. This concern is far from speculative. Japan's seismic history is a stark reminder of the immense forces at work beneath the surface. On March 11, 2011, the Great Tohoku earthquake struck with a magnitude of 9.1, unleashing a devastating tsunami and setting off the Fukushima nuclear disaster. Japanese experts now estimate a 75% chance that a similar event could unfold within the next three decades, a chilling probability for one of the most earthquake-prone nations in the world. This region sits at the crossroads of immense tectonic energy. Historical records reveal frequent magnitude 7 and 8 quakes, along with powerful volcanic eruptions. Approximately 7,200 years ago, a colossal underwater eruption sent pyroclastic flows as far as modern-day Tokyo. Japan's islands straddle a volatile junction where multiple tectonic plates collide and interact making seismic activity a constant presence. One area drawing intense focus is the Ryukyu Trench, a submarine fault line stretching from southern Japan to Taiwan. Researchers monitor this trench closely, and some have adopted the term Godzilla event to describe a worst-case scenario, a convergence of massive earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and tsunamis capable of reshaping geography, or even giving rise to new islands. With active and dormant volcanoes dotting the region, the Ryukyu Trench is a geological powder keg. This volatile environment results from the Pacific Plate subducting beneath the Philippine Sea Plate, which itself is diving under the Eurasian Plate. This layered tectonic system forces oceanic crust, thin and water-saturated, deep into the mantle where it melts and creates magma. Over time, this leads to the formation of volcanic arcs and deep-sea trenches. As magma rises, it depressurizes and expands, forming explosive volcanoes, particularly stratovolcanoes, known for their thick, viscous magma and violent eruptions. These eruptions can reach a volcanic explosivity index, or VEI, of 7, ejecting over 100 cubic kilometers of material. One of the most notorious features in this zone is the Kikai Caldera, located near the southern end of the trench. Although it appears as a modest volcanic island on satellite images, the visible portion is merely the tip of a massive underwater structure. Roughly 7,100 years ago, it experienced a VI-7 eruption, expelling approximately 150 cubic kilometers of ash and molten rock. The pyroclastic flows reached far into central Japan, demonstrating the catastrophic potential of such systems. Recent studies utilizing satellite data and seismic databases reveal that the Ryukyu Trench is anything but dormant. Earthquake swarms, clusters of quakes in short periods, have increased in frequency. One particularly concerning swarm began on June 21, 2025, and by July 21, over 2,200 earthquakes had been recorded in the Takara Islands region. Many of these tremors occurred at shallow depths, amplifying their surface impact and hinting at magma movement rather than tectonic stress alone. In the same zone, a magnitude 6 earthquake struck on December 9, 2021, at a depth of only 7 kilometers. This shallow event near an active volcanic system suggests that a magma chamber may be forming or becoming reactivated. Volcanic systems often undergo quiet build-up phases, during which pressure accumulates until it can no longer be contained. But this isn't the only cluster raising red flags. In 2022, another swarm of moderate to strong earthquakes was recorded along various segments of the Ryukyu Trench. These tremors, often exceeding magnitude 5, were distributed across March, April, June and July, indicating persistent underground stress and tectonic motion. While no single quake was catastrophic, their frequency and spatial distribution suggest a gradual build-up of energy, either tectonic or magmatic in nature. Even smaller clusters demand attention. 
In May 2023, a minor quake sequence off the coast of Okinawa occurred near tectonic boundaries. Though the quakes were not particularly strong, their position near fault lines made them scientifically significant. Further south, seismicity around Taiwan, where the Ryukyu Trench terminates, has also been increasing. On April 2, 2024, a magnitude 7.4 earthquake struck this region, the strongest in years, followed just four months later by a magnitude 7.1 event to the north. While separate in time and space, such large quakes redistribute stress along connected fault systems. These surges of seismic energy can quietly load nearby faults, priming them for future ruptures. The danger doesn't just lie in magnitude. Some parts of the trench system have remained quiet for decades, even centuries. This silence can be misleading. When a fault goes quiet for too long, it often means that strain is accumulating, not dissipating. The southern Ryukyu arc, in particular, fits this profile. Historical quakes like the magnitude 7.5 Huga Nada earthquake in 1968 and the magnitude 7.9 quake in 1662 demonstrate the region's capacity for large-scale rupture and tsunami generation. The Ryukyu subduction zone stretches 1,400 kilometers and plunges to depths of around 7,500 meters. This scale allows for the potential of magnitude 9.0 or greater earthquakes on par with the 2011 Tohoku disaster or even the 1960 Valdivia earthquake in Chile, magnitude 9.5, the most powerful ever recorded. Such massive events are possible when large segments of a fault rupture simultaneously, releasing enormous amounts of energy and triggering devastating tsunamis. While researchers can't predict the exact moment of a disaster, they can read the warning signs. One of the most concerning is the uplift of volcanic domes, particularly those that may collapse and displace ocean water rapidly. A case in point is the submarine volcanic dome near Iwo Jima, part of the Ioto volcanic system. Satellite imaging has shown the dome growing in height over the past decade. If it were to suddenly destabilize, the resulting submarine landslide could displace millions of tons of seawater, generating a tsunami that would reach nearby coasts in under an hour. Tsunamis from underwater volcanic collapse behave differently than those caused by fault rupture. They can be highly localized at first, yet still carry immense energy and reach speeds of up to 800 kilometers per hour, 500 miles per hour. Even Japan's state-of-the-art warning systems would provide only minutes of notice in such cases, leaving little time for coastal evacuations, particularly in Kyushu and Okinawa. Beyond the human toll, the ecological damage could be catastrophic. The southern islands support vibrant coral reef systems, rich fisheries and delicate marine ecosystems. A major underwater eruption or tsunami could wipe out entire reef zones, cause sediment displacement, and even trigger ocean acidification from volcanic gases, all in a matter of days. Adding to the concern is a pattern seen throughout history. Minor seismic and volcanic events acting as precursors to larger disasters. Before the 1707 Hue earthquake, magnitude 8.6, Japan experienced months of strange sea behavior, increased tremors and bizarre phenomena like sudden sea level drops and unusual ocean glow. Similar signs were noted before the 2011 Tohoku earthquake, including electromagnetic fluctuations and abnormal wave patterns detected by satellites. Today those same anomalies are being observed again. GPS monitoring stations on islands like Amami Oshima and Yakushima have detected elevation changes of several millimeters per year. Offshore drifting buoys are picking up abnormal wave behavior not linked to weather. These clues point toward deep oceanic activity, possibly tremors or magma movements too subtle for land-based instruments to detect. As Japan continues to monitor the growing number of signs, earthquake swarms, volcanic dome activity, abnormal GPS readings, and sea surface anomalies, the seismic puzzle grows increasingly intricate. No single data point can predict a catastrophe, but the convergence of multiple early warning signs is impossible to ignore. The Tokara Islands swarm, the awakening of submarine volcanoes, and the rising frequency of moderate quakes across the Ryukyu Trench all paint a mosaic of growing geological unrest. 
In response, the Japanese government has already raised alert levels in multiple regions and launched large-scale emergency drills in coastal communities. Public awareness campaigns are being ramped up, encouraging families to prepare emergency kits, review evacuation routes, and remain vigilant. Internationally, collaboration has also intensified. The Japan Meteorological Agency, JMA, is working closely with the United States Geological Survey, USGS, Taiwan's Central Weather Bureau, and Pacific-wide observatories to share real-time data, coordinate joint research, and track seafloor deformation. Satellite constellations are being retasked for higher resolution imaging, while autonomous underwater vehicles are mapping uncharted sections of the trench system, searching for stress points, recent ruptures, and volcanic uplift. Despite these efforts, the ultimate challenge remains time. Earthquakes and eruptions do not follow human schedules. Faults can remain locked for centuries before releasing all their stored energy in minutes. Volcanoes can sleep for thousands of years and then erupt without clear warning. The undersea ridges, calderas and fractured seafloor of the Ryukyu region remain largely unexplored, leaving critical gaps in our understanding of what might come next. But one truth is certain. This region is not static. It is a dynamic, constantly evolving collision zone between Earth's most powerful forces. Where molten rock meets ocean floor, where entire slabs of crust are swallowed and reborn, this is a living boundary. The southern volcanic arc of Japan is not only geologically active, but potentially globally consequential. Japan's resilience is legendary. From tsunami walls to quake-resistant buildings, from ancient sea god shrines to modern satellite warning systems, the country has woven preparedness into its culture. But resilience must be continually renewed through science, awareness and investment in early response strategies. And so the question is no longer if a major geological event might occur in the Ryukyu region, but when, where and how prepared we are when it does. If you found this story informative and important, please consider supporting content like this by liking the video, sharing it and subscribing for more science-driven coverage of our planet's most powerful natural forces. Your engagement helps bring critical stories to light and fosters a culture of awareness and readiness in the face of nature's immense unpredictability.